This is Imam Kashif Ahmed recording for the Prophet's path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed each and every single one of us with great blessings and bounties in this life and on the day of resurrection. Everyone will be asked about their bounties that Allah has given them. As Allah mentions in the Quran, that on that day you will be asked about the ni'mat that Allah has given you. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Sama wal Basara wal Fu'ada kullu ulaik lakana anhu mas'ula. Indeed, your hearing, your sight, and your heart will be questioned on the day of resurrection. One of the greatest diseases that is found in our society is the misusage of our sight and watching things which are not per permissible in Islam, watching pornography, looking at things which are prohibited in Islam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Hadith Qudsi that النَّظْرَةُ سَهْمٌ مَسْمُمٌ مِنْ سِحَامِ إِبْلِيسِ The sight of a person is one of the deadly arrows of shaitan. The person who protects his sight due to the fear of Allah, Allah will give him such a, such a beauty of iman, the blessings and the sweetness of which this believer will find in his or in her heart. Today, we are involved in the sin into that, to, that, to that extent that we don't consider the sin to be a sin. In fact, this is one of the diseases which is killing the society today. The greatest problem that an individual faces through being involved in watching pornography is the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the curse of Allah Azza wa Jal is such that the peace of this life and the blessings of the life of your after are removed from the life of that individual who is involved in these type of sins. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the eyes of a human being they also commit adultery and fornication. And the fornication of the eyes is to look at what is haram, what is forbidden in Islam. And this sin is such that Imam Bayhaqi narrates the hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ said that indeed Iman, belief of a person, is a dress which Allah dresses an individual with. When a person commits an adultery, he commits, an fornic he make he commits a fornication, this Iman is uplifted, this dress is taken out from his body until he does not repent and until he does not ask forgiveness from the sin that he is committing. So as a believer, not only that we are losing the benefits of this life, but we are also putting ourselves in a situation for the life of the after, which is an eternal abode for every single individual. Rasulullah said in a hadith that a person who commits an adultery and a person who is involved in looking at things which is haram, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala deprives him from all the blessings. In one of the hadiths in Rasulullah in which Rasulullah alayhi wa sallam said, الزِّنَا تُورِثُ الْفَقْرِ That fornication brings poverty in the life of an individual. When a person is involved in this sin, he is away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he does not understand the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Azza wa Jal says the person who lives his life away from the remembrance of Allah وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةٌ ضَنْكَ The person who lives his life away from the remembrance of Allah Allah says we bring problems in his life. His life becomes tightened upon him. Watching of pornography, it damages our brain, it decreases our have our uh, power of memory and by watching this a person he is involved in all type of diseases and sins that he does not understand the value of his own self 
the responsibilities that Allah has given him and he goes on and committing more disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is why it is very important that we consider this disease to be a very great and a severe disease in our life and we should make arrangements and make effort to remove this problem from our life. One of the ways that we can do this is to keep ourselves busy and occupied in things which are great and good. Imam Shafi'i rahmatullah says that I have visited and I have adopted the company of many scholars in my life. One of the common things which I found in every scholar was that they will always encourage me to keep myself busy in good things otherwise shaitan will use my time to spend on things which are forbidden and which are against the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also if we know that we are involved in this sin, we should try to take, make arrangements and we should try to make effort to remove ourselves from this sin. One of the ways to do that is to surf the net in the presence of other people so you will only look at things which are permissible and what you need to look at and what are needs what are your needs similarly to involve ourselves in productive things in the remembrance of Allah in the recitation of Quran and if a person finds free time use it in a cause of gaining knowledge gaining blessings learning a hadith of Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam memorizing a dua at the same time, we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that oh Allah protect us. Because indeed the protection comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when a person is serious about the life that he is living and the sin that he is involved in, Allah Azza wa Jal creates and makes means for this individual to come out from that sin. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the full ability to live our life according to the orders of Allah and to protect the bounties and use the bounties of Allah in the way that Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has shown us. Jazakumullahu khayran wa ahsanan jaza. Nurun ala marri zamani ta'allaqa wa adha'a li dunya tariqan mushriqa wa hudan min ar-rahman yahdina bihi is-salihati walil makarim wa attuqa